Hi YouTube and today we're looking at gas bottles and fitting gas bottles. Now we all know about safety aspects of colour gas. Um, so I'm going to run through today what you want to be looking for when fitting a gas bottle to the back of your portable gas fire. <laughs> Don't want to blow yourself up. Anyway, um, here again that's your safety, that's where the gas is, your valve. Everything's got to make sure that this here is tight. Okay, all right, that lets it gas in and out. You'll see this valve here that releases the pressure, decreases. That switches it off, turns it on. The regulator. These have to be, make sure these are up to date. And this is, you know, because sometimes you have to change these on occasion. So it's a good idea when you're looking, when you're changing the gas, the gas bottle's been on for a while. It's a good idea to make sure everything's tight at the back. The, the, the valve itself is tight, you know, get yourself in there, make sure there's no, it's, that you can't turn that, that's fine. So the last thing you want to do is that coming off. So, you bought, you've got your gas bottle, you brought it home, weighs a ton, okay. What you do, you pop it, you get that little, little thing out of the way, you slip this in, like that. Once that's in nice and safe, there's your regulator. You take your cap off. Alright, that's just a safety thing. You normally get what's called a free health check from Cala. Alright, so then you get your regulator. Now that drops on. There's different types. Okay, that just normally goes. There's a button under here. You'll notice there. Let you show. And you just press that in and it should click. If it doesn't click, it's not on right. It's important that that is secure. Alright. Now, for the day's purposes, I'm not going to put the back on. Uh, you know, I could do, but that'll actually secure. Actually, I will put the back on. Um, just as a temporary thing there. Normally screws in here. Fixed by four screws. I mean, these uh, the metal on this isn't really that strong. But it's designed to be portable so it doesn't weigh an awful lot. We just, uh, this, I put this, if you have it on that carpet, a good idea is to put some bits of old carpet so it doesn't go into the carpet itself because it weighs. But this is just a temporary measure. This doesn't stay all the time, it's just short term. Now we've connected this up. You see that's done. Now we're going to now run the gas through for the first time. So the regulator, if you see here, that goes up. You'll hear the gas click. Okay. So that's running through now. Make sure these are on. So now we'll depress that down till it runs through. And the first time you do it, just let it run through. Hold it down for a bit. You smell a bit of gas. Might be a good idea to open the window, the door, and that's it. And we didn't kill ourselves either. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how it change your gas bottle. A few safety checks. Make sure it's all running. Let it run through for a minute or so. Get the excess gas running through, and that should keep you going nice and warm over the winter months. Um, inexpensive, and uh, yeah. That's all you need to do. Simple but easy to fit. Okay, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Remember, watch all my videos. Subscribe. If it's out there, it could be on my channel. Thanks again and thumbs up. Bye.